Should we do it? I don't know why I did that there. I was like, what's wrong with you, man? <laughs> I'm Graham. He is Martin. Hi. And today it's my topic. Right. Martin. Yeah. There's kind of a thing going on at the minute in Hollywood where they're bringing back film series and things from years ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And there's yeah. a particular series, there's a particular film that there's going to be a follow-up to quite soon. It's quite close to your heart. Blade Runner. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. There's uh -huh. a new yeah. Blade Runner film. Yeah. 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 So. I want to know what you think about this. I want to know what your feelings are about a new Blade Runner film. What do you want to see in this film? Do you want to see a new Blade Runner film at all? Mm. Yeah, that, that's in, that's that's interesting. Right. In, yeah, Blade Runner was one of my all-time favourite films. Um, it was uh, it was a one of its kind. Um, it was shunned in the box office mm -hmm. and became a cult following because of its aesthetic and its unique approach to sci-fi. It's not going to get the hype or everyone. It's going to get the hype, but it's never going to live up to it. Never, ever, ever. It can't because everyone's ever got the expectation that that's going to be. It's going to be more polished now. Money's going to be thrown at it. Really, Scott had to work around all of that at the time. Yeah, and it's. I like to see it, but I wish it wasn't called Blade Runner. I wish it was set in the same world as Blade Runner. Yeah, that that the universe he created, or sorry. The universe Philip K. Dick it created in Diana Dre's Dream of Electric Sheep um, could, is so vast and it reaches the entire world that it didn't need to be in LA this time. It yeah. didn't need to be following the, the Blade Runners, I don't think. No. That story's told. Yeah. We know what they are. We know what happened. Huge revelation as you, as you progress in the story. You don't need to follow the Blade Runners anymore. No. I would, I would, and we still don't know much about it. I must no. admit, we still don't really know. But I want to be able to see a, a different side. Yeah, you know what I mean. Follow a different group of people. That's what I want. Now, here's the thing: the ending of the film, or at least the ending to several cuts of the film, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. make heavy. Now, this is if you've not seen Blade Runner. Spoiler alert. Yeah. If you haven't, by the way, you should be shot. Yeah. But. Many of the endings from the several different endings we've now got suggest that Deckard is a replicant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Harrison Ford is in this film. Mm. Heavily rumoured to be in the film. Yeah. How's that going to pan out? Because we know yeah. from the film that replicants <coughs> have a limited life. It's a four year lifespan. So how are they going to fit Harrison no Ford? No idea. That? No idea. Why is he in it at all? His story's done. Well, that's it. Do you know what I mean? Spoilers again. He runs away from LA. With Rachel, yeah, you never need to see them again. Yeah, that's it. Ever, you, you don't. Why? Why did you need to bring him back in? Yes, thirty years old. Hang on, no, no, it's not. Thirty-three years old. By the time the film comes out, he's probably thirty-five yep. years old. You know what I mean, Blade Runner? How's it going? Why do you? It just makes sense. You know what I mean? It just. They can't, they can't have him as the as the focus of the film. Absolutely, hundred percent not. Or if, no they, or if they do, no way. the only way that I can see it working, and controversial as this may be, to have Deckard as the antagonist of the film. Yeah, yeah, maybe, but you can't explain it, man. No, you can't explain it unless they do something where all of where he was able to find a way around it. <sighs> is longevity, but but, but that, that, then that if that's the case, and that just wipes the story of the original yeah. completely out the window. Do you know what I mean? Roy Batty tries his hardest to try and extend his life yeah. to the point where it comes, goes to his, his his father, his creator, and even he can't do anything about that. Yeah. For them to suddenly put in a pull, oh yeah, he managed. No, I'm not buying that. I'm not buying that. Actually, if Harrison Ford's in, ideally, I just want him to be just an, an android corpse. As long as, <laughs> as long as he's not narrating the film. No, 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 that won't happen. There's a few things that I think that the, they've absolutely got to do. The aesthetics, they've got to retain it. Yeah. The way I think about it, if you think about the, one of the ones that they did in recent years when they rebooted Total Recall. Yeah. And the, it was all, the aesthetic in the new Total Recall film was completely different to what it was in the original yeah, film. Totally. And yeah. the, the design, the way the world is in the original Blade mm. Runner film is so fantastic yeah that if they try and modernize it in any way it's mm. going to look shit oh yeah yeah need totally. to have it exactly yep. the same the other thing 
soundtrack by Vangelis. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. If it's not, if it's not him, yeah. Then it'll be Crap. Yeah, I know. Vangelis, yeah, he will. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm convinced Vangelis will do it. Convinced. Totally. Um, yeah. What? It doesn't make any sense to me. Mm -hmm. I know that uh, there's this thing in Hollywood now where they seem to be dredging up old franchises and, yeah. and old series, but it's like you say, Blade Runner has a cult following yes. and they're on a hide into nowhere by trying to continue a cult film because mm. either way it's going to get slated. Yeah, oh yeah, totally. Of course it will. Look at Prometheus. Yeah. Well, uh, no, no, look at Prometheus. Example. Look at Prometheus. And I hate the Prometheus. Prometheus. Ridley Scott as well. What? Ridley Scott as well. Yeah, I know. It's Ridley Scott's track record recently has been very, very sketchy. Very, very sketchy and he divides a lot of people. I'm trying not to think about it if I'm honest with you. You've actually made us a little bit miserable by bringing it up. <laughs> I don't want to think about it. Mission but, achieved. Yeah. yeah, there you go. So guys, there you have it. Blade Runner, a new film. That's what Martin thinks, that's what I think. What do you think? Do you want to see a new Blade Runner film? Do you not want to see it? Will it be great with Harrison Ford in or would you like to see something entirely different like Martin Wood, so maybe set in the same world? Um, please do let us know. As always, if you like the content, like, subscribe, follow us on Twitter, I'm GrimmyD1, he's the Digital MB, and we'll be back with more discussions very soon. Cheers. Did that now, like, what's wrong with you? Man? I think I'm Why are you thinking of the dirt? I'm just doing the same thing over and over again, it's fine. Greetings, guys. Welcome.